The Constitution, through the well-established decision in Clyler versus Doe, supports providing every student, regardless of immigration status, and education. And that means not just the right to a seat, but the right to be educated without fear of immigration authorities on campus, the right to be educated with fears and anxieties occasioned by immigration enforcement outside the classroom, outside the school, being addressed so that they can be fully educated. That's the right to education that every student has. I, I think we have to establish to, to the immigrant community three things. Uh, that they should know their rights, we should help them to know their rights, that they should never waive their rights because there will be attempts by ICE agents to have immigrants sign waivers of their rights. They're not required to sign those waivers and they should not sign those waivers, but take their right to go to court to assert that they have a discretionary relief available to them that many of them do. Uh, and that's not easy to do, so we have to embolden the immigrant community in not waiving their rights by letting them know that when they exercise their rights, they will not be alone, but will have community support, legal support, support for their families to exercise that right to due process. I think educators, because they are on the front lines with students, immigrants themselves, and children of immigrants, and because they see daily the effects of the rhetoric coming from the administration, the fear and confusion that it creates, educators have an important role to play in ensuring that the immigrant community feels supported, that their right to education is fully supported, uh, that they're not left to handle and address the fear and confusion alone.